for a style. Range 200. Target locked. Bang! Hello everybody, this is Master Joe. We're going to review all of the vintage G.I. Joe figures. To look at this 1990 Metalhead. Well, Metalhead is my personal favorite figure. I think he's very cool and with lots of beautiful accessories here. And Metalhead, he's working for Destro. He is Destro's anti-tank specialist. Yes, and he is one member of the Iron Grenadier. And also we can see from his color, black, red. And also there is another color, yellow there. So black, red, yellow reminds me of the German's flag. And also there is German Grey of his like, rocket launcher here. And also Metalhead, he made his first comic books appearance in the issue 114. And uh, in that issue of uh, G.I. Joe just fight against Cobra, actually there are a lot of uh, heavy vehicles in the G.I. Joe team. And later on, our Metalhead, he appear, and he really give the G.I. Joes a headache. Because this guy loaded with a lot of missiles. And he's targeted quite small, so it is this kind of a hard time for the G.I. Joe to find this guy during the battlefield. And he's personally a moving anti-tank weapon. And also in that episode, his arch enemy on the G.I. Joe team, Savile, this guy, he made his first appearance also. And we're also going to review this figure next month. He is also a very cool figure, loaded with heavy missiles here. Well, so before we look at this figure, so let's read his fail card to get some information about this guy. Well, so this is a foul card, and his code name is Metalhead. Well, you know, this Metalhead, well, it actually means a fan for the heavy metal music. And also, his color is the German flags color, so which reminds me of one band, which is Rammstein. That is my favorite band in Germany. Well, and also, his name reminds me of another figure, which is a hard head, and he is a headmaster. He can transform into the tank, and our metal head here, he is an anti-tank specialist. And that is kind of interesting. Well, he is Dazzle's anti-tank specialist, and he's one of the members of the Iron Grenadier. Metalhead is a walking anti-tank weapon. He can launch high-explosive missiles from his backpack racks or from his hip swivel holster tubes that guide them to their objective on a laser beam. Without the use of his hand or his feet, his voice activates the weapon's command system is made up of circuits and a targeting computer modules built into various components of his blast suit. All he has to do is to make visual contact with the target and let the computer read the range and plot the trajectory and wait for the green light to flash, then you'll BAM to complete the firing sequence. The real targeting computer is upstairs in this guy's brain and it doesn't have an off switch. This guy is so wrapped up with his work that even when he sits down for dinner, he's preparing for battle. He tests his visual acquisition sensors by locking on the mashed potatoes as they are passed from one end of the table to the other. He calculates wind deflections by observing how the stream rises off the meatloaf. He even measures the diameter of green peas, seeing them as micro-targets. If he looks you straight in the eye, you feel as if you have a bullseye on your forehead. And this is a crazy guy. And also, he is my favorite figure in the Cobra team. Well, so let's look at the figure here. Alright, so this is the metal head. He has lots of accessories, especially those racks will hold with the six missiles. And also, he has a little gun here. So let's look from the little one here. Well, so this gun is, looks very futuristic, like a gun from the Star Wars, like a blaster. It is not based on any of the real guns in this world. Alright, so this is the first weapon, and then let's look at his helmet here. And actually, his helmet really is the metal head. And this helmet reminds me of the German soldier's helmet in the World War II. There is a shield to protect their back of the brain. And there are also some details here, which means this helmet here also has some computer system. Well, next, let's see those rocket launchers on the both of his leg. And those rockets can move from this rack. Okay, and it's very cool. And also, there are two packs here, one on each side of this rack. And also, two packs behind his back, connecting to his armor here. So, uh, these hoses can connect these two weapons to his armor so the armor can have some computer system here to calculate the range of the target All right so let's see these two rocket launcher here they are exactly the same they're not like left and right difference they're exactly the same just uh, put in in a different ways and there is a hole here which is connecting to the peg on his leg 
and very secure. And behind it, there is another uh, pack here will connect to the hose, connecting to his back armor here. And also the rockets in this uh, rocket launcher can be um, removed. And there is some details here. And there is a hole behind it. Why? Because there are two small packs inside inside this pocket. So you can see there are two packs. So when you put these rockets in this pocket here, you can see there very securely. And just like this, very securely, okay? And next, let's see this backpack here. Actually, the backpack is two piece. One is two launchers. You can put the rocket in. And just like this. And also, there's a little radar here. Can calculate the range of the target. So these are the two pieces. So it can separate from here. Okay. And this part, also some details there. And also, there is a pad. You can plug to the back here. And many seller when setting this backpack, they just forget this piece. So you better be careful, it really include this piece because without this one, this rocket launcher cannot glide on the rail here. And this backpack really looks so cool. So you can just uh, uh, push it in and let it glide to forward. These rockets, it can guide by his computer in his uh, visor here. So when it's shooting out, you can change the trajectory, all right? So it's a very cool backpack here. Well, so let's see the figure here. And this is a glass with the aim. And in the cartoon, this aim is on the left eye, but in the comic books, it's on the right eye. And actually, we really aim through the right eye. Really, we just close the left eye and use the right eye to aim the target. And uh, this one exactly like the cartoon, but not in the comic books. And there is a dagger here. It's kind of strange because the dagger, uh, it just like put on the chest. There is no painting to the holster. So you can paint it to a brown or maybe a black or even red. And also all his armor here is a painted gray. And actually there are two pieces here uh, not painted. They're in the color black. There are some details on there. But on the card, we can see these several parts are painted gray. Okay, and also he's wearing a pair of gloves. Though the color is black, it is very detailed looking. Okay, and here, uh, well, the, on his neck, it looks like he has a turtle neck, but it's not painted red. So if you want to, you can just paint red, which is matches his shirt here. And also there are two packs on both sides of the leg. There are another two packs here. And all his weapon is very sturdy, but those four packs are very easily broken, especially the ones on the back, because when you purchase from online, and they never take the folder from behind. So these two parts is very lucky if you can have them still there. And also the brand name is Made in China, and the year is, is 1990. Okay, and also here he has okay knee pad here. And also the boots is also very detailed. The main color is black red, which is the color of Aaron Grenadier. And also there are some yellow here, like his pair of glass and also his rockets, which are just like the German flag. And whenever I look at this guy, I just really want to speak some German, like Zwei Fliegen mit einer Klappe schlagen. It means one stone, two birds. Right, so let's put on the accessory here. So first is his little gun, let him catch it. And then are these two rocket launcher, let's put it on his leg. And then are these backpack two piece. Put on his back. Okay, and also there are two rocket here that just put inside. And also the two hoses connected to the back. Okay, this rocket and also the back. All right, and last is this helmet. Actually, uh, in the comic books and also in the cartoon, he never wear this helmet because he really like his messy hairstyle here. All right, so this is a figure. His name is a metal hand and he's my personal favorite character in the Cobra team. And if you like it, please press like and subscribe and leave some comments here. And I'm gonna make more videos of this kind. And uh, your like and your uh, subscribe is really my motivation to make more of this video. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time. Drama was getting heavy. God oh, blimey! Thought we'd had our chops roasted that time for sure! Range! 100! Bang! Bang! <laughs> Bang!
You're out of ammo, you loon! Let's get back to the base and warn the commander to expect company! Target 40! Bang! Range 8! <laughs>